today we are going to harvest this banana so at first we have to take all the leaves and also we have to be careful while harvesting this banana because of the Wi-Fi wire it's in here over there from the mountain right there that the tower there is the Wi-Fi then there's a wire going there and going to the inside the house so right now oh, so we have banana to harvest in here in this area and this one that's very big banana all that we use for that for the fertilizer it's all organic we are using the manure and here's another one right here so we have to harvest two bananas in this area so what we are going to do when we harvest this so the stem of the banana we have to put that back in the trunk so this is how we harvest the banana so that it won't get uh, drop on the ground directly So it just comes slow, slow. So that's very huge. So maybe uh, four to five days, this one gonna start to write. <coughs> So that's banana number one and we have another one banana number two right there so we have to chop and drop for this banana we chop it and drop it right there so that it's another fertilizer for this the little one have you noticed this banana a lot of baby bananas a lot of shoot because we keep constant constantly feeding with the dry leaves also like this you have to drop that there you have to chop it and put that over there and all that kitchen's garbage we're always to put right there so the banana really doing good right there so that's we call chop and drop so we just put that right there for another fertilizer so that it will feed to the small banana so this banana is really very good looking they're very healthy even to the small one so like this the leaves we just have to, to chop that and put right there Yeah, there's another banana number two right there and also the other banana you're gonna start having fruits again so this is banana number two we harvest two banana for this morning dagpong mga bulig
So right there. So that's the technique how you harvest the banana so that it won't drop directly in the ground and it will get damaged if you don't know how to harvest the banana. Right there, that's so big. Wow. So again, we have to do chop and drop. When the leaves and the stem of the banana will get rot, so it's another fertilizer. Yeah, that's how you harvest the banana. It's always from the top going down. So the banana has a lot of shoot, banana shoot there, that's the baby banana. So for the next couple months, I think this one gonna start having fruits. And this one, I think two more weeks, this gonna be ready or two more weeks, this gonna be ready. So it's doing pretty good. So this is very good. So this is the mushroom where uh, black of the mushroom we put that in here and this is also good for the fertilizer on this uh, banana also. So some of them still have been fruits. Uh, that's not uh, that's not good anymore to eat because we put that in there so that uh, it will fertilize to the new banana shoot it's right there so this one we have to wait another three to more three three weeks then that will be ready to harvest Sa Sa iyo mo pagkilo, mga pahiyo. 